What up YouTube? Um, I'm going to attempt to shoot this video. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but uh, I'll just run through how I have my uh, Neptune Apex controller all set up. Um, it's pretty much what you see on here. I mainly use my phone for it, and I just bring up the browser. I don't know if there's an app yet for the Fusion, but I mean, just bringing up the browser is pretty simple on my phone and it's exactly the same amount of time so this seems to work out pretty well too but um, yeah like I said this is the Apex Fusion this is the new um, I guess software that they have um, if you guys use the Apex you'll know that uh, the old software is just kinda a little rough kinda hard to navigate and program everything so uh, what they did was they made this the Fusion which is basically just some um, a cloud for your uh, Neptune Apex controller. See right there, you log in and then you'll see your Apex right there. And you just click that up and it'll uh, bring up your dashboard. The main thing about this that uh, really got me was um, I was having trouble with my email and uh, you know just getting everything to work from my phone. It's kind of tricky. So um, they kind of just bypass all that for you so you don't have to worry about doing you know your port forwarding to um, get your Apex um, ready for your phone when you're not like in your Wi-Fi so with the old Apex you had to be within your home Wi-Fi or you had to set up the port forwarding to get your email and all your controllability um, what this does is it just sends it all to the Apex Fusion or the cloud which is basically what it is so that way um, you don't even need to be in Wi-Fi to get like your text message alerts or anything like that it just you know it, it, it's all there available for you um, no matter where you are so that was a big thing big kudos to uh, Neptune for developing this so um, right now I'm pretty sure that this is still in the um, testing I know if you go to the Apex Fusion, um, it's pretty much you got to just be patient and eventually you'll get a user, but um, it's not like open to the public, I guess, um, at the moment for like mass people to use it. But um, I was lucky enough, I kept trying and trying, and um, finally I got a username, so I guess um, I'm kind of like part of the test here. But anyways, we'll look at the dashboard. Um, if you see here, you know, same thing that you get with your Apex, and um, you know, same control pretty much for everything that you have. And then a cool new thing, um, you just hook up a webcam, and it automatically goes to this dashboard. So um, I don't have it. I might do it in the future, just because I think it'd be kind of fun. But you could um, view your fish tank via webcam right on your dashboard. But anyways, we'll go over it. Um, you know, you get the temp probe. Um, mine pretty much stays. That's about as big as the flux that I get is a little under two degrees, usually less. So um, pretty good there. My pH, I don't get much flux in my pH either. Um, it's a little low. I don't really get it up to 8.0 at all, but um, it stays consistent, which is just as good by me. And then obviously you can see the power that you use um, from the amp. Um, then you got on here for your controls, alarms. I don't really know how to use them. I don't care because I get uh, text message alerts anyways. And if you see here, email, it's the same thing um, with the Apex Fusion. All you got to do is type in your phone number and your email address, and it all pops up. So. Um, like you could set it if your pH goes to a certain point or your temperature. I have mine for temperature. It'll send me an um, email alert and a text message saying, you know, hey, your temperature's at this degrees now. So that way, you know, I could handle it. And um, it also automatically sends you um, text messages and emails if your power's out. And there's other controls too that you can use. Uh, see, I got my Aquafuge hooked up, protein skimmer. I got my heater hooked up. Um, if you guys play around with it, you could have it. So, like, your heater will 
turn on if you know the temperature drops below I don't know 77 degrees something like that whatever you have and then it'll stay on until it hits a certain degrees um, then I got right there is my uh, fuge light I got two heaters on my tank so same thing for that um, then I got my wave maker you control like when you want them on that stuff and I'll get into something here in a second with that another fuge light and then fan same thing with um your uh, heaters I have my fan you know I'll kick on if it gets too warm so uh, pretty cool little thing that you could do with your controller and then the Vortec if you have the wireless model mo uh, wireless model um, from the Vortec like I do you could have it hooked up to your um, Apex Fusion as well so um, I have it, I programmed it and everything. I don't have it um, set up yet. I don't know why I haven't got to it, but to get your Vortec pump to work with your Apex, you have to get one of these. It just controls it. So um, I'll get to it in the future. I, you know, I get installed it pretty easy to install. Uh, not that really complicated. You gotta have a little tech savvy, but not too much. But um, I think this is a really cool option that you could use once you install it. You could set um, different modes that you want to run throughout the diff uh, different types of days. You know, it's got all your um, program things that are already programmed in the Vortex. So you can set those up for different times of the day. And this part's really cool too. Um, instead of typing in the percent, you just do one of those and it's pretty sweet um they do have the same option for uh certain lights i know um you could program your radion with this or what's the other one and things like kessler or something like that i'm not sure what the other one is but those were two lights um bulk reef supply has a video talking about that i haven't watched it because i have um max spec and just because all your controls on the max better spec are manual on the um, light itself it doesn't have any software so um, you can't get in there and I don't see how you would be able to do it but with the radions and stuff too I'm pretty sure it's the same thing like you could um, program like the light in there and you can control the intensity like this and do all your times and stuff too so um, really cool option if you have the radion or the other light um, I don't know if they're going to do it with the Virg, Virg, Virgo or Virge or whatever the other light is. I'm not sure if that's got software, but um, really cool option for your lights if you go that route. But um, yeah, just in a nutshell, that's uh, kind of how the Apex Fusion runs. Um, way better than the um, old dashboard and control options with the apex where it's like you had to be in your wi-fi to even do anything or you had to figure out how to do port forwarding or pay another company to um like set it up so it was i guess essentially the same as a fusion like the other company would do a, a cloud type thing where you control it that way but um way simpler kudos to apex um this thing's awesome, easy to operate, and uh, yeah, that's really about it with this. Um, maybe once I get the this controller set up, I'll do a video of uh, different programming options that you could do with the Vortex pumps, but um, that'll be another day. Alright, cool. Thanks for watching.